What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you my opinion on the faction you should be picking within this week's Faction Rally event. Now there are obviously three factions to pick from and today I'm going to give you guys my opinion on the best locking gear to go for. Now there are hundreds of guides out there talking about what benefits each armor set offers in terms of mobility, resilience, recovery and so forth. This I understand for some people does change their opinions on what gear they pick and use and if that's the case I have a guide linked within the video description with all you need to know about faction rallies, the weapons and the armor stats. This video is purely for them fashion freaks out there like me and those who want to look the best. Don't forget each faction for all armors does now have ornaments for you to chase in game by doing certain activities. That I'm showcased in this video and which will hopefully help you choose your faction will be showcased with ornaments applied. So we're going to start with new monarchy and on the hunter. The ornaments give you a completely new look all together they really do. Uh, we get like this lion crest which is plastered all over the armor, the cloak, the legs, the arms, the chest and I gotta say it does look incredible, it really does. It's to be honest not like anything new monarchy we've seen before. If I didn't know for sure that this was actually new monarchy I wouldn't put that new monarchy label on this gear. I'm mean, imagining this with a blue and white shade on it or a black and gold theme that would just look absolutely epic. So what does it look like on the Titan? Well dare I say it, even though for me it's Hunter Masterclass, this new Monica gear looks just as good if not better on the Titan it really does. Again rocking the exact Lion Crest as you would expect, but for me it stands out more on this Titan armor, loving them knee pads too also, pretty damn cool. Even on the Warlock this gear looks great, although not as apparent as the Titans and Hunters, it still indeed looks great. Warlocks definitely though have the best looking helmet out of the three classes for damn sure. Next up we're going to check out the Future Warco ornamented gear. Now this for me I was super excited for. Future Warco are usually the first faction I pick. So let's check out their gear. I gotta be honest and say how it is. This is really underwhelming for me here at my hunter. And the helmet makes you look like a fly and the overall design of this gear is bland and boring. Whoever designed this gear was no doubt obviously hungover and at the time could not be asked. And also guys it's kind of the same on a titan too. I mean it doesn't even look ornamented. With ornaments you'd expect a crazy difference but there's nothing here. It's actually in my opinion worse than the standard future World Cup gear you can get. So let's check it out on a warlock. And I will say as as bad as it looks, it's still the best out of the three. But no way would I choose this design wise over new monarchies, it would just never happen. So let's move on and check out the third and final faction, Dead Orbit, arguably the fans favourite faction. So let's check out the Hunter first. Okay so I gotta say, I love this. That dark themed armour with that white splattered paint all over it looks as cool as heck. Reminds me of the punch shot, it really does. The gas mask helmet also is one of my favourite designs in the game and it just looks great in black and white. I can't begin to imagine how this will look with certain shaders. I'm definitely thinking we'll see some great combos here for sure. Another thing about this gear which I find great is the cape. I ain't usually a fan of capes that are ragged and ripped but it actually suits this armour and to be honest I can't think of a better match. So let's check out what it looks like under Titan and again people in my opinion it looks great. This theme gear in my opinion is the best we've seen so far when it comes to Dead Orbit gear from any Destiny game. Now last but not least, well actually definitely the least, we have the Warlock. On the Warlock it doesn't stand out as much as it does on the Titan and the Hunter, but for sure it's far from bad looking. I actually love the helmet design too. Again with different shaders I can see this looking amazing. Shame I actually don't have a Warlock, I have two Hunters and a Titan and to be honest I have thought about deleting a Titan and making a third Hunter. How scrubby is that? But then again I thought about deleting a second Hunter and creating a Warlock for the shits and giggles. I just don't know yet but at the moment I'm a two Hunter and Titan family. The armour for me here which is undoubtedly the best look in his new monarchy set, it just stands out from the rest. Definitely the pick of the bunch for me. Now because I do have two Hunters I will be choosing both New Monarchy and Dead Orbit on my Hunters and on my Titan we are definitely going with New Monarchy. But how about you guys, which armour tickles your pickle? Let me know down below in that comment section. 
faction rallies is here this week. In fact, by the time you watch this video, it could already be here. But yes, guys, on that note, I am as. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. It really does help me out. Thanks, as always, for stopping by. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.